Okay. So, a lot of us love the Ricoh GR1 series. Mine's Taylor, I got my name and phone number on it, but regardless. Um, this is a wonderful camera, and of course a lot of us love these, but we know of one big flaw, and that's the LCD panel. It's not a matter of if it goes out, but when. I had an idea that I'm going to try out, and we will see together if I either fix this camera for $1.07, or um, I made my not-great um, LCD panel completely dead, which is not a total loss. So, um, this is something I've known of, a lot of us, I think a lot of people do, where you get the uh, piezo or piezo igniter out of, you know, some type of lighter, and you use that to kind of shock the system back into play, or something like that is how I understand it. So, um, proceed with caution. This isn't, like, terribly dangerous, but it's also, like, not very safe. Um, it's good, and I know you need the blue wire. You do it with the blue wire. That I know. Okay, let's see. spark comes out of the blue wire. Cool. So we got that separated. Let's see. I'm going to strip it back just a little bit. Not too much. Dang, I just snapped that. I should have my actual strippers with me, but that's what it is. Okay. So now that spark comes out. So, let's uh, zoom in a little bit and <laughs> discover together if this stupid idea is actually a good idea or a stupid idea. I don't know. So you just kind of zap it. Oh, just shocked myself. It definitely did something. I either fixed it or made it worse. Oh, yep, it's working. Just like I thought. Can't zap it too much. It definitely does something. Come on. Yeah, come on. Almost, come on, girl. Come on. Okay, so I removed the top. Um, there's a great guide I'll link down below. So definitely do that first. It's not that tricky, but the name of the game here is certainly patience and, deli and you know, delicates, delicacy, delicacy, not delicacy, whatever. Just take your time. Don't rush this. You could um, like properly screw your camera up if you like try to rush this. So just go slow, go easy, and camera will survive the disassembly process. So, now that we're exposed, I wonder... Yes, that's doing exactly what I wanted it to do. See? Comes back to life for a second. Yeah, it looks great. See, we're already back. As you can see, it's exactly... Oh, let's fucking go! This is what we're talking about. Oh my fuck. Dude, yep. Oh, yum. Look at that. Back to life, kind of. <laughs> Fuck, I knew this would work. Oh man, we don't have the stuff on the side. 
But just kind of having my counter back. Damn. She's gone again. Fuck. Come on. Give her back. Give her back. Damn it. Oh, man. We're almost there. All right, guys. That's how you can fix these things for a buck. I don't know how long this is going to last. And let's take a picture to see what happens when you take a picture. I want to see that shit go down. So I don't actually keep in, you know, let me just put it in snap mode. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. Duh, it's not the shutter. That's the shutter. Thirty-six. Thirty-five. Yep. One dollar fix. Alright, I got the camera back together. Um, I got no film in here. Everything's looking good. Um, okay, let's get that roll again. Unfortunately, I totally, like, lost a roll to this, but you know what, man? That is a really easy cost, and I'll be in Japan next week anyways, so I will go get my cheap film. Dude, come on, don't tell me this didn't, like... Hmm. That's an error. I think that's what that means. Damn, this was working! I'm gonna put it back together, kind of screwed it up. I think I pinched something when I took it apart. Should I give her one more shot? There it is. Oh my gosh. I am so stoked. Dude, this is sweet. And just for continuity's sake, uh, let's go take it into the dark. Come on. Yep. And the blue LEDs working, no problem. Oh, dude, this is this is the coolest shit. Well, I'm glad it worked, and I hope I can save you guys a bit of grief too. Thanks for watching, and of course, uh, if you break your camera, I am not liable. <laughs>